Uh, to me, it doesn't look like a nose, and it just looks like a really, really long lips, like a duck beak. <laughs> <laughs> <a> duck beak. <laughs> Have you guys heard of Diary of a Wimpy Kid? I have. Have you followed Greg Hefley through the years? Are you a big fan of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid novels no. and adventures? No. Nope. Not really. Well, what if I told you that a fan has made a continuation of the novels and is currently posting them to Reddit? Oh, I, don't like I did that. Not, not a single word in that sentence. Sounds provoked feeling. any good emotions in me. When I said Reddit, my bowels immediately evacuated themselves. <laughs> it is formatted in the Diary of a Wimpy Kid novel format. Oh no. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't like this. I'm not I'm not ready for this. D don't spoil yourself now. Okay? Okay. Please, please, I, I can't allow this suffering. Just just pull the trigger, piglet, and let's get on with this. <laughs> the year 2032, Friday. Well, I haven't written in this thing in years. I was getting home from work today and saw this thing lying under a stack of paperwork. I guess I used to like writing in it when I was a kid, so I figured I'd give it another try. Jesus, there's a lot of catching up to do. Where to start? Rowley's gone. No, not dead or anything, he just moved away. He's lived in Boston for seven years now. I think. I don't even remember anymore. Damn. I haven't spoken to him at all since I left. I still don't really want to talk about it. Am I happy? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> Sunday. Roderick, his older brother, still lives in Plainville, like me, but not Manny. He decided he was too good for us and went to New York in his 20s, and Manny looks exactly like he did when he was a baby. <laughs> Fucking dick nose. I mean, to me, it doesn't look like a nose, and it just looks like a really, really long lips, like a duck beak. <laughs> he <said> duck beak. <laughs> you think it just like what he eats? You think it just like expands open really wide? <sighs> I don't think he has a jaw, so he like does, he just unhinges his mouth. What if what if instead of like it being like a jaw, he he uses like fluids in his face to inflate and deflate his mouth so he could deflate it and hang like a dick and balls oh, on like the front of his face? Stop! What the hell is even that? Tuesday. Get to the hospital now! It's stop! The cancer stopped my work! <laughs> Jesus, why did you have to read it in a voice like that? <laughs> Get to the hospital now, it's dad, the cancer's gotten worse. Zooey mom. <laughs> okay, so can you imagine that you get this phone call about your parent? They're sick and in the hospital, and the first thing you do is to sit down and draw the situation in your journal before you leave. Everybody stop, I need to draw it in my journal. <laughs> he took my dream journal. <laughs> I did not. Wednesday, I guess I have to come clean. Dad was diagnosed with lung cancer over a year ago. He's like, I have to come clean. You know that last drawing in my previous journal page about my dad having cancer? Well, it wasn't a joke. <laughs> I definitely have cancer. I definitely have breast cancer. There are 13 Diary of Wimpy Kid books. Jesus. How many diaries does a kid have? Fuck, bro. Just talk to a therapist like everyone else, <laughs> idiot. Thursday. You're never going to believe who just showed up at the hospital. That piece of shit Manny. After almost a decade, this is when he decides to see Dad? Damn it. Roderick must have told him. Neither of them know Manny's here yet. Manny wants to go see him now. So I guess I have to let him. <laughs> I just open it up, and all I see is just in old bold letters, just fuck. That was the only thing that my eyes were drawn to. Get the fuck out of here right now! And I'd like you to get the fuck out of here! It's all get right. out of here! Get out of my room! Man, he still looks like a deformed man-child. <laughs> he opens up his lip flaps. Dad, I'm here to see you. It just sounds like two, two pieces of, like, steak slapping against each other as he speaks. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's just... <laughs> <laughs> it's just really funny seeing the words that piece of shit Manny and then looking at how the characters draw it. It's like, yeah, look at that look at that evil motherfucker. You can see it. You can see it in the three hairs in his eyes. Thursday. It didn't take Manny long to leave after that. He tried to talk to us on the way out, but Roderick took care of that. <laughs> Holy shit! Look, he's jacking off his meat loops. Don't worry, bro, I'll jack off your meat flaps real quick. <laughs> So do you think it's worse for him if instead of getting punched in the face, he gets his meat flaps jerked off? <laughs> I I could not tell you, Gerber. That's a really good question. <laughs> hey, Jeff Kenny, can you tell me if this is true? <laughs>
My name's Jeff Kinney, and I'm the author of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. I'm here today to tell you about Manny's Meat Flaps. At Jeff, what it, what it, what do uh, fucking Manny's Meat Flaps sound like? Friday. All right, before I say what happened next, there's something I need to get off my chest for a long time. So here it goes. He's gay. <laughs> Seven years earlier. Why would you flash back in your own journal? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, wait, why would you flash back in your own journal? <laughs> Rowley and I were best friends. We had spent pretty much every day together since middle school. We went to college together and even moved in the same neighborhood afterwards. I was probably the happiest I've ever been in my life, but it only took one phone call for everything to change forever. 3 a.m. You get like that fucking the Hamtaro scene when it's like, what, what, what are you wearing? That's the fucking Hamtaro. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the fuck that is. Hamtaro. <laughs> That's Hamtaro. I don't watch anime. Wow, that makes me incredibly aroused. I sure hope that you're a human female and not a hamster by any chance, because if so, I'd be considerably less aroused. Also, I can speak English now. Seven years earlier. So Rowley got a call from this comic syndicate in Boston. They had seen his work, and they wanted to offer him a position. The thing was, they only had room for one more cartoonist. So if Rowley wanted the job, he'd have to move to Boston within two weeks. Now, I wasn't in a particularly good mood already because Funbrain Games had just denied my application. So when Rowley gave me the news that he'd be moving to Boston in two weeks, I was devastated. The day before he moved, I told him to meet me on the roof of our old middle school, for old times sake. I had something I had been waiting a long time to tell him that I needed to say before he was gone. I love you. Yeah, I love you too, man. No, I'm serious. I don't know if I'm bi or what, but I love you. <laughs> Greg Hefley is the LGBTQ representation that we need in the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. God damn it. It makes perfect sense. Thursday. It's been one week since I tried to get in contact with Rowley. He still hasn't responded. At this point, I've only got one option left. Is Rally fucking tweaked out of his mind? <laughs> He's off the shits, man. Yo, look at his eyes! <laughs> okay, so I think that this might just be the greatest page of this fanfic yet. I'm not gay, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing Fortnite with you, Greg. And I would like you to get the fuck out of here! What was the main inspiration he said? Somebody commented with the, the post just saying, Bojack Horseman intro plays. And the creator said, that's kind of the main inspiration, mixed with a bit of Master of None. Are you- are you serious? Are- are you kidding me? No. It's the year 2034. The cheese touch has infected over half the population. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that would have been such a better way to start this, bro. Oh my god. It's the year 2034. The cheese touch has infected over half the population. God damn. Blade Runner really- <laughs> Blade, Blade, Runner, Blade Runner 2049. <laughs> Why is there a flare? There's a flare on this subreddit that just says, You can smell my anus. Oh, well. Why? Uh, well, so apparently there's, hold on, there's also other uh, fanfics on this sub called Greg's I... Trip to Vietnam <laughs> and Greg Heffy and the Ballistic Missile. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. So Dive War Begin the Ballistic Missile is real. Okay, can you start linking these? Day one. Rowley and I were making lemonade to cool off after a day of some heavy rounds of Twisted Wizard. Not long after, Dad exclaimed to us that there's a ballistic missile heading towards our town in an hour and we need to evacuate immediately. <laughs> <laughs> this is the climactic finale to the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. I can smell it. Rowley and I were unsure if this was actually happening. I then received a notification on my phone. Dad was right. Donald Trump said so. <laughs> I can't. I can't deal with this. This is like the best shit ever. Honestly, I don't think these were made by different people than the original author. I feel like the original author just got high on bath salts and just started churning shit out, dude. Like. <laughs> 50 minutes left. Rowley decided to tag along with us since his fat ass was too slow to run back home. 
Anyway, we started hitting the road. We found out we didn't have enough seats for rally, so we taped Manny's legs to the roof of the car. I don't care. <laughs> it works. My mom then thought that giving Manny a gun would eliminate traffic, which is a stupid <laughs> idea, but she still did it. A few minutes later, we heard a gunshot from the top of the car. Manny shot the gun and killed someone. We didn't know who he killed, but after Roderick heard the gunshot, he started congratulating Manny and told him he's doing a good job. This family, I tell ya. Wait, why is Rally shirtless? <laughs> why is he so angry? <laughs> <laughs> Manny is on a shooting rampage right now, <laughs> killing pedestrians left and right just to shave a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Dad said we could haul all of our stuff into the bunker in about 10 minutes. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get the tape off Manny's shoes in time. <laughs> 32 minutes left. We're getting really close to the bunker. Dad said we'll have time to spare if we don't get distracted, but then we heard a faint scream and a whack. When we all checked to see what happened, Manny flew <laughs> off the car and hit the tunnel wall and died. <laughs> This image just says so much. <laughs> so much is conveyed through this. Every frame of painting. It was an absolute bloodbath. I wish I had the red ink to show it because Manny was pouring blood out of every severed limb. Like how he just does not care his little brother just literally got fucking <laughs> he just, murdered. He totally downplays the fact that his brother is dead. He's like, man, I really wish I had some red ink because it was a fucking bloodbath. 30 minutes left. After the Manny incident, we kept driving. <laughs> I don't think anybody in the family seemed to care that Manny is dead. All right. Yeah, seriously. I mean, weird flex, but go off, I guess. I mean, they taped him to the roof of the car with a gun. I don't <laughs> think his his well-being was really paramount in this situation here. 22 minutes left. Remember when we taped Manny to the roof of our car? <laughs> Turns out, other people did that too, because Dad was assassinated from a bullet to the head. I love the, the drawing of the dad now with X's on his eyes and, and a bullet wound, but also there's a continuity issue. Radley's wearing a shirt. You can see the outline on his neck. Ooh. Oh, dude, you're right. I can't believe that the fucking author would overlook such a major detail here. What an yeah. imbecile. I'm also not really sure what, what the mom is doing. It looks like she's showing an iPad to the dead body. Bro, check out this funny meme I found on Instagram. <laughs> 18 minutes left. There was a family of three getting into a car that was right next to us when we ran out of gas. These dumbasses placed a shotgun on the roof of their car, and thanks to that, we easily offed those fuckers. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the image of Greg Hefley about to shoot a family of three will now be burned into my eyes. Dude, this is this is great. Like, I'm I'm really glad that they were accurately able to to capture what it was like for the Russian royal family to be stormed by the Bolsheviks in 1919. <laughs> the timestamp for this page is holy fuck. <laughs> Fucking Roderick, the goddamn piece of shit. We were loading the fucking bags into the bunker and the bitch jumped in and locked us out before we could even toss him all the drummies. The motherfucker left us to die. <laughs> when is Greg writing all of this? <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark. Well, I guess this is it. I'm going to die. The bomb's already gone off. I can feel the heat on my face. I'm not making it out of this. Well, I guess there's worse way to die. At least I got my best friend and mom right next to me. Manny, Dad, I'll see you too soon. I guess I'm gonna die. So what did you guys think of uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid fanfics? I was impressed that such pure, raw, creative talent can exist nestled in even the smallest communities. Gerber, do you have anything else left to say about these fanfics? You know what? Sometimes you gotta be a, you gotta be a little mad to be a, such a genius. Please, go, go check out these fanfics yourselves. There's more content for you to discover with your friends. I highly suggest reading them together. If you're a fan of Diary of a Wimpy Kid, you will not regret it. And uh, after, uh, you know, after you're done reading those, we want to see your best attempts at shut writing. Up, shut up. Some diary Shut of up. a wimpy Shut kid up. Uh, Shut up. fixed yourself. Shut the fuck. My name's Jeff Kinney, and I'm the author of the. <laughs> <laughs>